Okay, so this is a penis slide. Um, this opening here that kind of looks all ragged like that, that's actually the urethra. And so as soon as you can find that, you know that this tissue surrounding it is um, spongiosum. Spongiosum moist surrounds the urethra. Then up near the top, there's two bundles of cavernosa. They get this name because they have these little caverns inside. It fills with blood during the erection and actually causes this, the penis to you know, stand up in saloon. So those are the corpora cavernosa. So the main thing to look for when you get the slide is to see whether or not you see this urethra and where the tissue is in relation to that. That's the clearest, easiest, surefire way to get it right on the, on the practical. Okay. Now we move into the testes slide, and they have a bunch of stuff for you to, to see here. Oh, lordy. Okay. Well, maybe this is the one that they call in light itself. So now let me see. Let me see one more time. Some of the cells are listed under a different name in your text. I think this, they call the sustentacular the lydic cells, which is what I learned it as back in the day. Let me just see if that's right. Okay, they call them sustenocytes. Okay, so at least that sounds the same, though. Okay, well, at least it sounds the same. I knew there was something different. So if you have to learn that um, for your uh, test, there you go. It's a little bit, it's a little different. Um, okay, so we're looking at the testes. Each of these circles represents a seminiferous tubule. We're going to need to go in closer to get any real... Ability to, to see what they want you to see. And let's go ahead and go in one layer closer. Woo! There we go. Okay. Let's look at this one. Oh, this is a really good one. Okay. They want you to be able to find, first of all, uh, the spermatogonia. Spermatogonia are stem cells that males retain in order to produce sperm. They represent this outer layer here of really nice circular cells. They're what's going to allow males to produce sperm theoretically throughout their entire life because they retain their stem cells. We women lose the stem cells before birth, so we don't have the ability to make more eggs after we're born. Um, these little guys, just informationally, these are the beginnings of the sperm. So they're going to eventually form the tail and swim up and out the seminiferous tubules. Or really be pushed, I guess I should say. Um, they want you to be able to find the interstitial cells and the sustentacular cells, or what's in your book as the sustenocytes, I believe they said. The sustentacular cells are these big blobby cells just inside the layer of the spermatogonium. They help to establish... Um, the blood testes barrier so that the testes don't accidentally get, the, the sperm, pardon me, don't accidentally get into the blood supply. In between each of these layers, each of these um, seminiferous tubules, so like if here we're looking here at the seminiferous tubules, you're going to have what are called interstitial cells, some of these big cells up in here. So they're not part of the seminiferous tubules. It's hard to tell on something that started to split apart like this, but um, these cells are going to be the ones that produce testosterone. Okay? And they're interstitial, so they're between the cell, the, the thing. So if this is the boundary, again, to the seminiferous tubule, here's another one, here's another one. These things would be, most of those would be interstitial cells. Some of them are, but most of them are. 
that is the reproductive slides that you're responsible for.